Hey, what's going on, folks? Glutch here. And welcome back to Missouri River Bottom. Oh, yeah, we're still working away on our little special playthrough here. Uh, let's get back to work on this. I still got a lot of field to work on. Well, over this way. Let's get to it. Bitter batter. Welcome back, folks. Good to see you guys back again. Oh, uh, man. Guys, so um, we left off yesterday day or the last time we were here uh we were working on well over there that far field over there we've got that all done i'm i've, I've got just tilling to do i've got so much grass to uh to plow under here hopefully i'm not missing any no i'm not good we're good we're good we're good we're good we got the six r six r the six r right yeah seven r seven r not the six r clutch you know what i get confused because of the uh well it's got that front bumper plate on it that protection guard on the front i'm used to only having that on the six r but on these 2020s we got on the seven r as well and I think it looks pretty good. I mean, look at that. It's a nice looking tractor. Look at her go. Hey, everyone. Come and see how good I look. Nice. So you can see how uh, these fields work. I was trying to find a way to turn this into just one field. And I cannot, for <laughs> the life of me, get rid of this grass with this plow. I don't know what it is, but it's not letting me get rid of the grass, guys. So uh, I might have to get a different plow at some point. But I'm not going to worry about it for now. We'll leave the grass in and uh, we'll we'll deal with it we'll deal with it yeah anyways so we've got uh a lot more i want to try and plow up today i'd like to see if i can get all of this down below done yeah there's a lot of grass there folks uh in this little plow i mean we only have to do this once mind you we got to do this once so it's not like it's the end of the world but still oh and then i i always end up going into this guy's field here <laughs> sorry that that happens though Sorry about that, dude. Not my field. It's a good-sized field down there. Look at the, the crops we hear. So we're we're working on pushing just one type of crop essentially for this playthrough, guys. If you know, if you missed the first episode, uh, what we're doing on this playthrough is a little bit different. We're going to be focusing to try to see how much money we can push through on our little brown water distillery we got there. Clutch's special brown. We're going to focus on that. So we need corn, we need barley, and we need water. So I'm making as much corn and barley now. I'm, I'm maxed out already. I don't have any money that I'm owing. I don't owe any loans or anything like that. But you can see that 53 or 57 grand we have in the account right now. That's all we get. In terms of money, we have no money. That is all we're getting. And we're going to see how much money we can start making with this. Now, typically, those brown water distilleries, they make a ton of cash, guys. We make a ton of cash off that typically. Uh, I'm going to bump the difficulty up on the economy. Let's, I think we started off on medium. I'm going to put that up to hard right away here, and we'll uh, we'll see how that works out still, too. But typically, they, they're going to be a pretty good way of making cash if you guys end up having one of those. So we're going to see if we can uh, push that today. So uh, I've got to figure out. I think I was going to do corn on this side, barley on the far side over by, uh, the, yeah, over by the main farm over there. So barley over there, corn over on this one just because the barley field is little uh, this this field here is a little less hilly so i think for corn i'm gonna make it so it's not quite as hilly i think that makes sense in my mind at least whereas that one over there there's some pretty good sized hills like right down actually in front of us that that area right there guys that is really steep and i want to make sure that uh we can get up there with the harvester i'm sure it's not gonna be a problem so some of these hills are definitely a little on the deceiving side as you can see we're kind of coming down here um, I struggled a little bit over on that side, but we were just going side to side on... Oh, I mi How did I miss that one piece? Look at that. Oh, I missed more than one. Never mind. I missed a couple. <laughs> I missed a couple. All right. Let's see if I can grab this now. There we go. We got it. Yeah, over on that, that field over there, guys, we were going side to side. So with the, the hill didn't really affect me too much. I have been noticing on this one. The seven are... It's, it's actually been struggling to get up this little hill. Now, it's not... It, I, it's, it does it, but what I've been... Oh, see, how did I miss that again? Let's back this up. Let's back it up. Lift up, lift up, lift up. How did I miss, like, a little bit here? Just a touch. There it goes. Drop this back down. Um, we just missed, like, a just... Uh, just to try to get it going. I've had to put crews on, and then I've just kind of gassed it up the hill as we left. Uh, let's see if we can spin this around. Stop, stop, stop. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Now, I'm trying to avoid the road. Because <laughs> it's a little rough. There we go. All right. So back on up. So I've been through the woods, through the bushes. 
Now I've been usually like dropping this down after. Oh man, look at this! <laughs> Get up there! Look at that! Oh man, I got too much weight on the back, guys. Come on, nice and easy. Just trying to get that traction up. Yeah, see, this is the problem I've been running into. So, uh, it's definitely a little steeper than you would actually come to think of it. Okay. I'm just going to put the hammer down here and see if I can get going. Come on. You've got to find... Oh, see, it's just not even going to work. Let's drop this down, then. Drop, drop, drop. Come on. Drop down. There we go. If it's down in place, it at least forces my wheels onto the ground. There we go. But you can hear, she's struggling. Uh, I didn't even, I've never tried to just stop like that. I was always spinning around, and then I would have cruise set, seven, six miles an hour, and then I would drop the, the blade down, and then it would work for me. That was, that's interesting. I never tried doing that before. I guess we won't, we won't do that anymore. We won't do that anymore, but because we've got to get down into this gully down here on the left. It's, uh, it's not massive down in here. Like, there's not a lot, a lot of field left down on the far side. But uh, that's one portion. And then when we get up further a little bit here, as we round this tree stand, uh, you can kind of see that there's a little spot down here I got to get into as well. Uh, yeah, it just kind of jets off and in. It's down there a little bit. And it's pretty hilly down in here, though. I mean, when we were standing up at the distillery, I didn't notice how much of a hill this was going to be. And I was like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll have a, a little bit of time to, to cut in here, get this field plowed up. But uh, as we get further away, guys, you can start to see this this field. Like, we're up on a bit of a valley here. The river runs down below. In fact, you can see the river right through the, the trees right there. It drops down into the valley, the river valley. But we're going to be dropping down from here on in. And uh, I think it'll be okay with our combine. I think it can handle it. I'm actually quite surprised that the 7R is having this much of a problem plowing this up with this. I mean, this is a pretty small plow, but we're struggling a little bit. I'm not, I'm not exactly impressed with it. I think I was, I thought for sure we'd be doing through, going through this without a problem. So we've still got a little bit of work left to do over here, but once we get this all tilled up, I need to lime this thing, guys. And that's a whole other discussion on, uh, well, things Clutch has noticed today. Things that I've noticed, yeah. Uh, things we've got to take care of. So let's, uh, I'll wrap this field up. It's not going to take me too, too much longer. It doesn't look like we'll struggle around through those corners, but we've done, well, the big portion. <laughs> it's taken us some sweet time. Uh, we've done the big portion and we'll bring this plow back. But like I said, it's, it's time for lime. All right, guys, that's a wrap on plowing. No more plowing for the time being. Uh, we'll put this away. I need to, I need to do some repairing on the plow. The plow has been beat up pretty good. In fact, even the 7R. Uh, we need to give this a scrub down and do a little bit of repair work on it. I think it's maintenance is actually already starting to hit it a bit. Uh, as for, well, lime. Guys, I had this new haul all set up. I was going to, I was all ready to go and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think this Curveland uh, can handle lime. And no, it can only do fertilizer. It can only do fertilizer. So that's, uh, well, that, that's a thing that we need to figure out now. So how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to have to lease something, guys. I don't want to buy another one. I do want to use all the new Curvel and stuff. So uh, we're going to definitely use this. But I need to get rid of... Well, just put this down for the time being. So I'm going to go store this. And uh, you know what? We're going to still need to take the tractor with us. Yeah, we're going to have to go and go to the shop and load up some pallets. That's my only real option. So uh, let's get this thing loaded up. I'm going to go stick the... Um, yeah, we're going to go put the pallet forks on this thing. We're going to stick the uh the curve lens fertilizer spreader back in the shop for now like i said i was planning on using this thing and then i realized that yeah it doesn't do it doesn't do lime so that kind of sucks for me unfortunately but what do you do you got to make do with what you got the little blue we're going to get you set up get you on that flat deck and we're going to take all this stuff down to the shop with us all right there we're good to go we're set up i've got the peterbilt's hooked up with our pj flat deck trailer i'm hoping that i can get maybe two more flats or two more pallets on top of this. Uh, we're gonna go get our leased spreader. We're gonna lease a spreader as well that can do lime. Yeah, it, it's going to be a bit of a pain and I'm not sure if this is really gonna work out that well. I still may have to make a trip back to go grab some more lime. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get enough lime all in one trip here, unfortunately. it's. Um, I think we're gonna run out of lime pretty quickly with the amount of field size we have, guys. This is a huge pain in the keister, unfortunately, but uh, this is the only way I really have of getting lime so far up to this farm. 
So what what do you what do you do really? Right? What are you gonna do? So off to the shop, we're gonna get some lime, uh, and uh, yeah, then we'll make it back out here. And once again, we've gone ahead and chosen a farm location that is literally on the far side of the county from uh, from the shop. So okay, here we go. We're passing again. Double yellow. Go go go. <laughs> um, yeah, literally, guys. It, what is wrong with me? Why do I do this every single time? We have to go across the whole county just to get back to uh, the shop. I, I don't know why I do this to myself. Look at the size of that field ahead of us. Holy, holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Man, that's a big field. I think that's a cotton field, actually. I think there's a big cotton cell point up there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all cotton. Look at that. That's crazy. That is such a big field. I need to figure out what the size of that field is. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, that's that's craziness, guys. Oh, we're going by this guy again. Double yellow. No one's coming. Look at this. We've got wide open roads. Anyways, so um, I don't want to be making this trip very often. This is just way too long. This is just such a time sink to go back and forth, especially... Oh, man, we need to find, like, a, we'll need to build a lime silo, I think, and transport some stuff up here. Like, well, we're not going to need to do lime again for, what, three years or three three harvests? Uh, so, whoa, that's one thing at least. Same with, but I still need fertilizer. I don't have a use, I don't have a place for fertilizer yet. So I do need to find some kind of a silo system that can hold maybe lime and fertilizer. That would be probably beneficial. Hey, train's coming. Right by the shop, too. Oh, uh, we're going to go by this guy. We're going by him. The one comes this way, it seems like. That's kind of strange. Anyways, back to the shop. Let's go get our lime. All right, we've got our new uh, spreader leased. I bought three uh, three lime bags. We've got three lime bags ready to go. Now, guys, I ran into a bit of a problem. Oops. So it only costs us about a thousand bucks plus, what, two grand for the lime, something along those lines. Two? Yeah, about two grand. I think it was 450 a bag. Anyways, the problem I'm running into, folks, I decided to, to maximize. Well, we've got this coon spreader, this lime fertilizer spreader. Um, it's cost us a thousand bucks to lease it. And I put the full extensions on this, so I think this holds 32, maybe 3,300 liters, something along those lines. I was hoping that I could just connect onto this, no problem, and I would maximize the amount of lime I have in it. Problem. Without the counterweight on the front now, without this lime bag on the front, um, all I do is wheelie. I cannot keep the front tires on the ground, so I need to counterweight this to get it on. Uh, I may not be able to use this in the field. I may have to hook that up to the John Deere, and I really wasn't... I wanted to use a little blue for some work, but I'm looking at this now, and I'm, I don't think that's going to happen, guys. I just don't see how I could possibly um, use this reliably now. Leave that there and hold that down in place. Unfortunately, I don't have straps either, so uh, that's going to have to work. Yeah, so this thing is just going to be... It's too heavy for me. Maybe if I wouldn't have gone with the extra weight on it and just went with the regular size, that would have been okay. But right now, guys, I'm kind of screwed and I'm going to have to use the John Deere once again. I was just thinking, actually, that the that new little blue, the, T, uh, the T6, I think it has an option to put weights on the front. I think you, we, can have, we, we can do that. I'm pretty, pretty sure. There's not a three-point hitch for that tractor, but I'm pretty sure I have an option where I can just add some weight on the front of it. Because that would be kind of convenient if that were the case. So maybe we'll pull into the shop and see if we can fix that up. Uh, it would be super nice if we could do that. I'm not going to hold my breath, but that would be that would be really nice. All right, we had to spend some more money. Uh, not a lot, but I, need a, I didn't have a toolbox. I, did, I had to go buy the toolbox. It's only 350 bucks for the toolbox at least. So we got our toolbox so we can repair this. Now, I had to put the weights on the front. 1,200 kilos. Uh, I think it cost me, was it 1,000 bucks? Something like that. Quite a bit unfortunately we lose the ability to have the front loader with uh, the weights on the front so the front loader sitting back there that being said guys i do have the john deere that does have the front loader already enabled on it so we can just if we do need the front loader i'm pretty sure we can just come and pick it up with the john deere as long as there's nothing on the front of that that's going to cause me any grief i think it'll be all right all right moment of truth is this going to work all right Seems like we're in business. Uh, the weights seem to be holding. I think we're okay, guys. I, I think we're good. So we got two extra bags of uh, of lime sitting there ready to go. That being said, I still got some wheelie in action going on. Hopefully they can handle it. I don't want to. I don't really feel like using the John Deere. I want to use the New Holland if I can get some use out of this thing. That would be ideal. 
but if we have to if it's if it's just not worth it and it's starting to become a pain then we'll swatch out swatch out S swatch out <laughs> We'll swap out and go to the John Deere, I guess, but uh, I do want to use a little blue if I can here. All right, before we get started here, I do want to run, just run a couple of quick tests just to see what happens when I go in reverse or forward. It doesn't seem to have that much of an effect on it. Let's put her backwards, press again, into forward. Yeah, I can't get the front tires off the ground. I'm okay, should be all right. Uh, all right, let's see what kind of spread we have with this bad boy. Fire this up. And go. Nice. Whoa, she's rough though. This land holds great beauty. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a rough ride, guys. Look at this thing. Since all the weight is on those back tires for the most part. Like, the front tires, you just watch them. They're barely touching, it seems like. Like, it doesn't take much at all. <laughs> We're just start to bounce. Oh, easy, little blue. Easy. Easy down the hill. I'm missing a bit here because I tried to hold on, but... It feels like even going down this hill. Uh... <laughs> just watching her bounce. Oh, man, this is nuts. Like, I'm not even touching the accelerator yet. All right, there we go. We'll spin this around. All right, from here, we should be good. I can put the accelerator down at least now. Um, yeah, that's a bit crazy. She just tends to... Oh, man, it's rough. I wonder if this is just too heavy for the suspension on this thing. We have the horsepower. I think we're at 180 horsepower or something along those lines. It has no problem with that. But... <laughs> it's just getting thrown around here, like... I feel like the front tires are barely even touching. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Once again, trying to hold on for dear life. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes! Oh, that's hilarious. It's just bouncing everywhere. Oh, well. We'll get her done, guys. Um, this is a pretty big field, mind you. It's going to take us some time to even get this done with the, with, uh, the liming. But I did... It's, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. It only cost us. What are we? What are we all in on this? Maybe three, three thousand, four thousand bucks, I guess. After we had to make the adjustments to little blue here, that's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. We're gonna get this limed at least, and uh, I still need to deal with fertilizer, mind you. But anyways, liming at least we got that done. It's plowed. It's lime, so we're gonna get the bonuses for all that. Uh, we just need to figure out how we're going to fertilize after that. We get it planted. And, I mean, we got we got the equipment for it. It's just the fertilizer is going to be expensive since that's so much more expensive. Lime is relatively cheap, but fertilizer, yeah, not so much. So wheat. And I wish we actually used the same amount of lime as fertilizer. Usually I go through a little bit more lime. We're not going through it too quickly right now. It seems like that's a reasonable rate. I'm kind of surprised. I thought we'd go through lime a little bit quicker than this. So at this rate, I think we may actually have enough lime to get through these fields. I think the actual stuff we have sitting back there, those two bags, that will almost fill up what I have in here again. So, guys, we should have enough. I think we should be able to be... We should be good. Oh, man. Oh, she's just bucking. So this is the section I was debating on plowing up, and I just never did it. So uh, this will be something... How much did I get the corner there? Oh, I got it all. Nice. This corner, this kind of peninsula that goes down over this side and then wraps around in behind our house right there. This area, we can plow up and make this part of a field as well. I didn't bother doing it for this field. I should have. I probably should have. Uh, but you know what? We'll give it a break. And we'll, I just want to get stuff in the ground. I'm, I'm done with plowing. I'm so sick of plowing right now. Uh, it feels like we've been plowing for quite a while. So anyways, we'll worry about that later on. We'll get the first props in. And then after that, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But for now, I'm just going to worry about this first area. So there you go. There's one full lap of this field. Ah, that's not that bad. That that didn't take us too, too long. I missed a little bit on the edges there, didn't I? Oh, well. That's okay. There we go. Perfect. Let's get on out. Oh, man. So, it's so rough. Uh, it is so rough. I don't think... You know what? We we did stuff in the quad track before. I think it was the quad track and that New Holland uh, quad track. But what's the New Holland quad track called again off the top of my head? I can't remember what model that is anymore. T9? The T9? Anyways... And we did some tests on that at one point in one of our live streams. I remember that was really rough as well. But this one, I've never seen it so rough before from a, the little blue. Little blue has been pretty good for us usually every time we've used it. 
And this time I'm just getting bounced everywhere. And I don't know if it's because of the fertilizer or the uh, lime spreader on the back or if there's another reason that I'm missing. But man, it's a rough ride. It seems like we're smoothing out right now. But man, <laughs> that first corner, holy, that caught me off guard. All right, up the hill. Go, 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 little blue. Get up there. Get going. Come on. Get up there. Last couple passes. Um, that looks good, doesn't it? With the lime all cake in the tires, and then it disappears so quickly, though. Um, yeah, we're almost done here. And we're still, what, 20, 32%. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I was I just checked our spray rate. We're at 450 milliliters per something, something, whatever it is. Uh, we didn't adjust that. So we're on standard, standard amount of lime. But uh, things are things are good in this field, guys. We're going to finish this one up, and then I'm going to go do what's going to be our cornfield, which is, well, right across the road over there. But before we do that, we might as well reload. Reload? Let's go grab a bunch of lime here and uh, head across then. That should work right about there. Perfect. Sweet. All right, guys. That should be good. Let's head across. I just checked that last bag we got there. We have roughly 500 liters still left. This bin, like I said, holds about 3,200. We better put our, uh, get these all fired up. Um, so we still have a little bit of room left in, or a little bit of lime left at the, at the shop. I may pick up an extra couple bags just to have up here when I go buy the fertilizer, just so we have it. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't know. It's just convenient to have a little bit of lime sitting around. It's pretty cheap. I mean, it's 500 bucks a bag. So in the grand scheme of things, what, whatever. You know what? We got to do what you got to do sometimes. Uh, so if we have a little bit of lime sitting at the shop, that's all good to go. Just in case we need it for any fields, we may try and purchase as soon as we start making some cash. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that all it's going to take is like one good harvest. And uh, we can kind of dive in and be good to go again here and start really upgrading some equipment, buying some huge fields. But I mean, with, with huge fields comes huge responsibility. I'm Batman. We need to buy some huge equipment then as well. Because right now, we're, I mean, the stuff we have is decent, but even for the farmland we have, guys, whoa, look at that. Um, even for the fields we have, uh, some of the equipment we have is a little on the spot. Look at that wheelie. Yeah, definitely that plow. We need a bigger plow. I'm hoping we don't have to use that ever again. I'm hoping we have enough money by the time that we need to plow something else up that I can go out and buy or at least lease something that's maybe twice that size. Man, you'd think that since I'm going in the same direction as the plow lines, those tram lines, that I wouldn't be getting rocked around as much. But man, does this thing ever get thrown still? Uh, I thought that might have been it, but I'm still like, even right now, if you watch it, let's even get a nice angle on this. <laughs> I'm still just getting bucked around every once in a while. It, it's a little ridiculous, guys. I, I don't know. I would, I'd like to see what happens when we cultivate, if we get the same issues or not, or if it's if it changes at all. The last couple passes here, guys. I'm right along the ridge line. Um, and I just want to give you guys a view of this since we didn't really do it before, but it's pretty steep down here. This is uh, a little hesitant with Little Blue. Little Blue likes to tip things a little bit. I came around, oh man, down here on the road and I was going a bit quick, man. I, I pretty much put it over. It was so close. Uh, yeah, you really got to take her easy with this thing. She's a little... I think that wheelbase is a little sh shallow. It'd be nice to have something with a little bit more girth to it. <laughs> All right, back on up again. Crank her over. No. Yeah, there we go. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that. She's climbing this hill, no problem. Yes. Uh, you know what? She's small, but she's got lots of horsepower for the size of her. And we're down the last little bit, finally. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. We got this last little finger down here. We have to go around this tree stand. You can see uh, how much is left, kind of. This is an awkward little spot in here that I was able to get into. So I can get all this stuff lined up. Yeah, a very awkward little corner back in here. <laughs> Just kind of sticks off on this little peninsula that looks over top of the uh, over top of the valley. You can see the river down below. Zip this back and around. No. Can I get all of it? I can get most of it. I'm, I'm calling that good right there. I don't want to come back down in this section. But, like, lots of trees down here. It's just an awkward little corner that uh, that we have access to. It gives us a little bit more land, but, I mean, really, not a lot. Most of the stuff that we need are, are back ab above this uh, this little spot. But, anyways, I digress. See, look at this. We'll just go on up top here. Um, this kind of just jets around again. And then we get this extra little bit. But uh, this is the last couple passes here, guys. I've, you can see how far we've gotten. We're right up to... Well, right here. And, uh... Looking pretty good, looking good. Everything's almost lined. You know what? We're gonna be in the field soon with and some finally getting some seed down. 
And there we have it. We still have 37. You know what? That's like identical almost. These fields are almost the same size. That's hilarious. Yeah, we ended up with almost the exact same amount of line between both of them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cut through the field right here. Back onto the road. Jump. Nice. They almost ended up being exactly the same. That that actually is perfect. We'll see how much corn and how much barley we get off the two. But that's, um, that's kind of an ideal situation, I think. Two fields, very similar in size. I like that. Good news, guys. That's going to do it for us today, especially since I can't seem to climb this hill. Come on. Get up there. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I thought... Oh, you know what? I, I turned off the, the cruise. Um, that's going to do it for us today. I'm going to empty the uh, lime out of this and return this uh, this lime spreader since we don't need it anymore. We're done with that. And uh, we're going to get ready for planting. Planting season's up next. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you folks next time. From Missouri River Bottom, this is Glotch over and out. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? <laughs>